So I finally got it around to taking a look at the new Purge Anarchy trailer. Very, very intriguing. Um, the first film as well as the trailer definitely caught my attention. Very thought-provoking. And uh, this one doesn't really seem like it's going to disappoint, in my opinion. Um, just the fact that, you know, the two travelers are going down the road and, you know, the woman's already apprehensive that she wants to get home. And then they run into car trouble. I mean, as soon as that came up, even before the atmosphere, sorry, before the atmospheric music even kicked in, the first thought was, oh shit. You know, because obviously they're in for a wild ride and, you know, who knows if they'll even make it out alive. I mean, especially open to the elements like that, just out in the open, which I thought was a very um, awesome way to just up the ante because... The first film, not necessarily a claustrophobic film, but you were tied to the same location. So here, you definitely have a whole lot more going on. Um, I also love the fact that, you know, you have all these gangs and stuff going on, um, as well as, you know, just vandalism. In my opinion, it gives it a very road warrior type feel, which, you know, I, I really love Mad Max. And, you know, <laughs> anything that reminds me of that, uh, even if it's just, you know clothing type wise stuff is is just very intriguing in general so I'm definitely looking forward to seeing this um, I mean I've already got tons of thoughts rattling in my head and you know I probably would be completely off as well as the way I was when I was trying to make predictions for the first film but um, yeah just extremely very very intriguing it looks very intense and, um, you know, I really hope it does not fall short. I do love the whole dystopian society type thing they have going. I honestly did not think that they were going to do a, a sequel. So that kind of took me by surprise. But in this day and age, um, it's kind of a no-brainer. If a film does well, then they're just going to throw a sequel at you. Um, you know, obviously, <laughs> I grew up in the 80s. I grew up in a time in which sequels were not common. Um, if, if a film was very popular and did well, then it may get a sequel. And even then, it was, you know, it was usually a two to three year span before you got a sequel or longer. And nowadays, studios just churn them out like popcorn. So I'm not complaining about that, uh, but just a very, very noticeable difference in the way uh, trailers and sequels are, are handled nowadays. But definitely very much looking forward to this. And, um... I will definitely be checking in uh, once I do finally get a chance to take a look at that. Um, but uh, yeah, just definitely would love to share some thoughts with you guys, and I will talk to you later.